So well, and that's the thing. You're you up to date on, on all the WWE shows. I, I can't imagine there's time to watch anything else, let alone another wrestling program. So <laughs> you go to Impact Wrestling. You're familiar with a lot of the people there because they're your former colleagues. They have different mm -hmm. names now. Perhaps their moves have different names as well. It was like you had always been there, though. So like, how much research did you have to do? How much prep did you have to do to make this seem so seamless? Um, it, it was kind of 50-50 because I was legitimately a fan. Um, I legitimately grew up a big fan of the Motor City Machine Guns, Samoa Joe. I love the X Division. Um, I remember uh, now Nick Aldis, but Magnus's entire world title run and yeah. just being like, oh, this is a really fun heel run. Uh, Rockstar Spud, who I now you know I got to work with in WWE, James Curtin is a, a good friend. So it was just all these experiences where I'd seen this show for years. Like when I was talking about Rosemary and the Ultimate X match, I remember the origins of Decay and Abyss and Crazy Steve and Abyss is another friend of mine. So I was just like, yeah, I think I'll shout out Abyss. I think I talked about Abyss three times on the pay-per-view, <laughs> which has got to be a record. Um, so it's just fun, man. I, I got a lot of people tweeting at me. It's like, oh, you must have been fed stuff. I'm like, no, I, I put in a lot of work on this. And there were some things uh, because this is the 20-year anniversary of the company. Yeah. I understood the gravity of, okay, the triple threat for the Impact World title it had been 15 years since that title was introduced and it happened to be in a triple threat match so it's like well that's convenient storytelling and just weave this in and this company exists for a commentator in wrestling nirvana i can talk about anybody and anything it's really cool so i think we've all heard the stories that vince is in every commentator's ear in wwe so who's in your ear in impact um, I'll get fed uh, the occasional, I mean, granted, I've worked one taping at this point in the pay-per-view, <laughs> so I'll get fed the occasional note from uh, like the match producer if there's something important like, hey, look out for this, or this is a, a, a thing to uh, put over in particular. Um, my executive producer is Josh Matthews, which if you had told me that, you know, a handful of years ago, I'd been like, what? Like, it's, it's pretty wild because he and I crossed paths briefly in, in WWE, and I was just getting started and his time there was coming to an end so it's just kind of wild how you just keep running into the same people but it made it really easy for me to transition it's like you know a quarterback going from one system to another and it's the same playbook i was like oh yeah i know exactly what he's aiming for so it made it well, seem and josh was josh was the voice of impact for so long so mm -hmm. he very much knows what the tone is there and, and the story that you guys are trying to tell on commentary yeah it, it was really easy and just He's trying to execute a product that I'm familiar with. And at the same time, the vibe that I got, you know, just from the talent, the setting, the way the show was executed, it felt like NXT circa 2014 to 16, something like that. You know, it was kind of this unpredictable world where anything can happen. Anybody can kind of show up. Um, you know, Charlie Haas showed up. I was like, what? Like, mind blown. And uh, I just saw the promotion for when we're doing Fort Lauderdale this coming weekend. Um, Jay White's going to be there. G.O.D. is going to be there. So I was like, this is really neat, man. So it's just it's just different. Um, I think a lot of people want to compare things and it really can just be apples to oranges, but it's different, but it's been so much fun so far.